And many parents and students are weighing their options and asking themselves, should they move forward with their college dreams or step back and reassess? David Gonzalez has more on this unique dilemma they're facing and what they can expect in the fall. Adam Dunn will soon graduate from St. Thomas High School, and as you can see, he's already set on what university he's going to in the fall. Right, I'm definitely hoping that I will actually be able to, you know, go on campus and take classes and have like a normal start. But his freshman year at Trinity University is up in the air. Colleges are considering online learning as the fight against coronavirus continues. And not having that peer group um, is definitely going to make the experience um, different. Education consultant Ibrahim Farat says getting ready for college during a pandemic is hard. He says parents are concerned about safety, but also about the cost of college. Colleges have been selling students the idea of a campus experience like tailgates and football games and, you know, student life, dorm life and, you know, social interaction. If these things are canceled in the fall, legitimately speaking, students are concerned with the value placed on tuition. If that happens, Farat says schools may reimburse students for things like housing and meals, but he doesn't expect a break in the cost of tuition. As long as they offer virtual learning provided by their full-time professors, graded work, even, all, even live or asynchronous, guess what? They're going to probably pay for full tuition. He says families should look at options which include staying closer to home or going to a community college if they're worried. Adam, though, he plans to stick to his goal of going to Trinity University, regardless of how it starts. What can you do, right? I mean, you kind of have to do what's best, protect more vulnerable people. So, I mean, I wouldn't hold a grudge, but yeah, I'd be disappointed. In Houston,